What is up, Pyromaniacs? Pyrostasis here. We are back in the world of Hearthstone. We are continuing on with our Naxxramas run. Uh, we're going to be trying to kill Gluth today. Um, this guy's nasty, though. His ability... Is that the same as a quality? I think I think this is the same ability as qual equality or humility. I forget which one. But either way, for two mana, two, dose, he gets to make all minions' health one. That's fucking insane. Oh my god. So I'm, I'm pretty sure we are going to get bent over the counter hardcore. Uh, I have completed a priest deck, uh, but the priest deck is mainly built around slightly beefier things so i'm a little worried that one might not work um but we're gonna go ahead and give it a shot anyway i haven't showcased this deck um in a while well in fact i've never showcased this deck because we just completed it yesterday um in all uh, you know what do you call it in a effort of full disclosure i did not create this deck it is one of amaz's free-to-play priest decks where he went through i think on the european server and managed to get uh, pretty well ranked up with it uh, it doesn't include, I don't believe, a single legendary. Oh, that's just that's just harsh. That's just harsh, man. Um. So, anyways, whenever a minions with death rattle dies, gain plus two attack. Oh, wow, that sounds awful. That sounds awful. You know what? I don't think I like you having that, bro. So I'm just gonna make it go away. If that's cool with you, is that cool? I'm I'm glad it's cool. Dick bag. How much did that cost? One mana. Wow. Wow. I'm, I'm glad he really had to work for it. <laughs> Destroy your opponent's weapon. All right. Well, your opponent doesn't have a weapon, so I'm just going to go ahead and kill you. Get you off the field because you, you kind of smell. And then, um, hmm. If I play this. I can heal myself up to full, but it's kind of a waste if I play this. In fact, I think we are going to play this for now. We do technically waste one mana. But that's really not that big a deal. Especially since he's fixing to kill himself. Wow. Really? Going that route. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and put you out. And we'll just punch you. Destroy your opponent's non-existent weapon. That works out really well because then I'm just going to use this that he already set up to die to clear. And we're good now. We're good now. So again, um, the issue we're running into is if I use this, I'm technically wasting mana, which makes me feel just terrible. Um, I think what we're going to do is this. It's not quite as wasteful. It's still wasteful, but I mean, I'm wasting two mana. Hello. Your weapon. Again, thank God we've shut his weapon down, so not really that big a deal. Hmm. Um, and he's on the sweet spot. For those of you guys who don't know, the sweet spot for a priest is four. Four attack. Priest can get rid of anything three and under, and then get rid of anything five and above. But four, for whatever reason, we just decided, you know what? Four is really not that much of a threat. So what we're going to do is I'm going to attack... That's going to knock him down to one, and sadly, actually it's not going to do anything because he doesn't have a weapon. I thought it was going to enrage him. Cast heal there, which will give us a card. And cast heal, which will give us a card. And then we're going to punch him in the face. And then, hmm, you know what? Let's make him beefier and get another card. So I think that worked out pretty well. I think it worked out pretty well. Oh, double O. All right, that's gone. All right. <laughs> You're a whore. Okay, so this is kind of tricky. Um, oh, God, dude, he's going to... Game plus, okay, so it's just going to be plus three, but he's going to have five turns with it. God, that's brutal, man. That is absolutely fucking brutal. Is someone injured? Fuck off. All right. Um, 
This is going to work out really well next turn, assuming he can only kill this guy. Because if he does, I'm going to heal a ridiculous amount of people. If he doesn't kill this one, then I get four cards. We're already at one, two, three, four, five, plus six. That put us at ten. Uh, we got to be careful, because if we overdraw, we could be in some trouble. I expect him to take out my taunt guy, though. Mm-hmm. That's pretty much what I expected. Ooh. I can do it without any mana cost. Um, hmm. That's five attack or more. I could gain control of him, but that seems just a little silly. All right, so we're going to use this. That'll give us three cards. Actually, it's going to give us a lot... Oh, wow, yeah. It's going to give us a lot more than three cards. Oh, Jesus, I overdrew. I'm pretty sure I just overdrew big time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and that would have been a good one to have. That would have been a good one to have. All right, so what's his death rattle do? Deal one damage to all minions. Um, that's not so bad. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and do that real quick. Probably should have done those in reverse. That's really scary now. Really scary now. Uh, all right, so we need to get you out to block. Otherwise, we're going to be in some shit. We're going to be in some shit anyway, honestly. Uh, I can't afford the Thought Steal right now, because if I do, we're going to be just so full. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we have nine cards, which means I can draw one next turn, which means I can't afford to heal any of the minions, because we'll draw two cards. Um, I'm going to go ahead and play this just to get some stuff out of my hand. And then I'm going to go ahead and heal my main guy, just to keep myself topped off. And we're going to brute force him. Uh, he should be able to one-shot this. Hopefully he doesn't have anything with charge. And then anything he plays on the field, as long as it's not in the sweet zone, I can kill... Whoa! Oh, God. Deal damage equal to our hero's attack to a minion? Which one? Okay, that's fine. I'm fine with that. That actually works out pretty good, believe it or not. Okay, so... Unfortunately, I can't heal anything, which kind of blows. Um, and we lost the Arcane Crypts guy, which would have given us three, four, five. Would have given us lethal this rotation. Um, I can make a shot for that. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I need to play a card before I can do it, unfortunately. So we'll go ahead and throw him out. There's no person to really heal. This is going to give me two cards. I have six mana left. That will drop me down to three, uh, which means... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, if I can't play another card, then we'll burn what other, whatever other card we get. But it's possible that we could get a lethal right here. So I'm going to go for it anyway. Oh, yes, sir. That's all we need. Throw that out. And I think we have lethal right now. There we go. Wimpers. <laughs> Wimpers, hell yes. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. <laughs> we'll eat the zombies now. Not my problem, Brohim. Not my problem. This guy gives us a zombie chow. And I believe that actually defeats the... Nope, we got one more. Who is this? Thaddeus. Um... Uh... I don't remember, Thaddeus. Swap the attack and health of all minions. Uh, that could be really problematic for him. All right, let's fire it up. We're going to stick with the priest. That seemed to work real well for us last time. We'll do it again. Uh, I will show you guys the deck real quick. And again, this is copy and paste of Amaz's. Um, this isn't his current priest deck. This is kind of his free-to-play cheap starter deck. I don't have any legendaries, really. I mean, I have some, but I don't, I don't have many. This is the deck list. If you pause it right here. You can then take Gayazo or whatever it's called and just do a screenshot of this right here. That's what I usually do. Put it on your hotbar and you can pretty much find it there. Nothing special about the deck. It just works and it's cheap. And for people who don't have a million and a half legendaries, it's a, it's a real good starter spot. All right, let's fire up Thaddeus and see how well we do. I'm sorry if I sound really messed up. I've got a cold that's kind of kicking my ass, and 
It's really just being brutal. Farius. Oh god. All right, we're getting rid of that and that. I'll hold on to that. Hopefully, we'll get something. Oh, oh, not good. Not good at all. Oh man. That does nothing. Wow, you're gonna load me up with sixes? Are you fucking serious? So I, I get a feeling he just does that over and over every turn. That's gonna make for a really interesting battle. Oh wow. Wow, we are getting the most useless draw of all time. I will get to play my first card at four. Okay. Well, at least I finally get to play a character. Uh, that's actually kind of cool. I'm kind of looking forward to that getting swapped. So, swap away, Brohim. And 5-3. Although, either of his characters can now kill it, which is kind of a bummer. Or he can just do that. I guess that works too. Oh, Lord. Alright, we need to kill that zombie to get that health. That's going to be kind of a uh, high priority at this point. Um, Alright, so we have five, which means there's not much we're going to be able to do. Um, I am going to go ahead and throw one into this. I'm not going to throw two because it's just going to get swapped here in a second anyway. Uh, so I kind of want to give him an edge, but not too much. Because he's probably going to die here in just a second anyway. Uh, next turn we can get our Sunwalker out. That will hopefully give us enough of a shield. <clears> hmm. <throat> the damned stand ready, huh? All right, fair enough. So he's just going for the face. He's not even playing around. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, we are going to go ahead and play Sunwalker. That will give us some stuff. Um. Shit. All right, I'm going to kill Zombie Chow. reason I'm going for Zombie Chow is that's going to give me five hit points, plus get something off the board. That's a pretty good pretty good setup right there. Um, and there's not much else I can do here. I will get to kill two of his, his, his characters this rotation, which is good. God, he's got some deck draw with that. Oh, shit. Alright, I got rid of two. Jeez. Alright, we're in some shit now. Um, that is going to give him a four, which isn't going to really do me much good. Or I can just do a five. Uh, that is going to restore five health to my hero, but um, he's going to probably kill me next rotation. In control of an enemy. That's not going to do me much good. Because uh, I can only I can only gain control of this one, and I, I can't really do much with that. Uh, I don't have our can I, so I can't kill them all. Uh, I can put him out. Plus that, that would give me eight, nine, ten, eleven. He's gonna be able to do nine with these two. Uh, actually, ten because that's gonna gain some health. If I throw him out there, charge and divine shield, I can knock this down to half, but it's not gonna kill him. Uh. If I use this, I can almost kill that, but not completely kill it, which is still going to make me take a shit ton of damage, but it'll at least give me five. That's probably the only option I have, except I can't even target him. So I guess we'll have to target that. That gives me 13. Better than nothing. Not by much. And he just saved me with that. He had lethal right there until he swapped that. All right. And we get absolutely nothing useful with that at all. Um, 
even if I stack all heals, I can only heal myself for five. If I focus on killing, I can kill this. Uh, and that's it, this rotation. So we're done. We're done. So we'll go ahead and try it again. We'll give it one more shot with a priest. And if it doesn't work, then... I mean, that was a terrible draw. I mean, that was absolutely horrible draw. So we'll, we'll try it one more time with the priest. And then if it doesn't work, we'll switch to hunter and see if we can't... See if I can't do it then. Ironically enough, I think a Murloc deck might do well here. Just because they're all low health anyway. Oh, I'm getting rid of Thought Steel. And I'm getting rid of Holy Nova. We'll hang on to Arcanar. Oh, man. Perfect. At least I have something I can play on, on turn two as opposed to turn 95. All right, he's going for something early. What are you playing, buddy? All right. Mm, okay. Question is, is he going to go for the face with it? Oh, he's fucked now. I guess I'm one ones. Ooh. Wait. What happens if he swaps that? Does it die? Oh, shit. I bet it just fucking dies. That's not fucking cool, man. <laughs> oh my god. Um, I'm going to go ahead and up him just to give him one more life. Uh, it doesn't really... Oh, man. Of course, there's no way for me to have known that I would have gotten that beforehand anyway. Uh, he's only down... Well, we'll heal him. What the hell? This isn't going to do me much good. If he polarity shifts, this is going to die, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Now we're in some shit. I love how he has access to shaman abilities. That's just like, it's like, really, dude? Really? Hmm. All right, we'll get our taunt out. He's going to polarity shift again. <sighs> All right, we're not in too bad shape yet. Yet. Uh, yeah, there's there's not much else we can play. I pretty much have to play this because if we play this and heal myself, which is doable, this doesn't count as a spell, uh, and they're probably just going to kill him anyway. Um, that being said, I don't necessarily waste this, uh, but at the same time, I'm never going to have minions out against this guy that really need it, so I think this is probably the best option. On the next round, when he attacks, I get to kill that, probably. All right. So, uh, these are fives, so I can't really do much to him. Uh, I can put this one out there, which uh, isn't too bad of a move. Uh, I could put him out there, but he's not going to be able to kill him. Uh, he will do some damage, but I, I think the better move is her. <clears throat> Alright, we swapped. Damn, dude! Alright, and now he's going to kill... Yep. Alright, alright. It's kind of an annoyance, but not too problematic. All right, so I have a four and a three. So I can play... I can play her, which will allow me to kill that. Uh, I could play her and him, which is going to get me two out on the floor. Uh, that'd be a five, three, and that'd be a seven, four. Um... I don't, I don't really see anything else I can do. Uh, I can play this and kill that. Uh, but then next rotation, he's going to... Actually, that might work. I don't know if this has already been swapped or not. Um, hmm. Oh, actually, that'll work out perfectly. All right, so here's my thinking. 
He hasn't swapped this yet. Next time he's going to swap, it's going to become a 1-3, which makes it almost useless. And I'm going to only take 2 damage, as opposed to uh, significantly more. Yep. And now I can defend against it. Oh my god! That's his, is that his third or fourth one? Damn! Oh, I see how it is. Now you're just going to ignore it. Alright, fine. Fine, fine, fine. So I have two Pyromancers now. Uh, neither of which are very helpful at the moment. Um, three, four, five, six, seven. I could get them all out there uh, just to kind of absorb some damage. Um, I'm going to go ahead and kill that. I am then going to heal you. Uh, you know what? Why not? Maybe they'll look scary enough that the AI will attack them. I'm hoping that one in the center doesn't... Oh, really? Oh my god. I fucking hate you. Oh, god dang it. Oh, man. Well, this actually kind of works out. This actually kind of works out. Because I get to do this. Now I get to do that. Actually, kind of nice. Um, then I'm going to play this. And I'm going to do that. And that is sadly going to become a 5-3. Which means he can now easily kill it. If he so chooses. Which apparently he does not. All right, so we're going to get rid of the one that does the most damage, which is that one. Uh, well, that's only mine that does that much damage. Um, copy two cards from your opponent's deck. I can get two of these guys out. Neither of them have taunt, unfortunately, but that's fine. All right, those are both going to become three fours, which will be kind of scary. Oh, so is that. All right, what are you going to do now? Jesus. Deal two damage to two random enemy minions. Okay. Hmm. I'll go for the thought steal. Give your minions plus two health. And I have just enough to do it all. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Alright, so... This isn't easy. Definitely want that off the field. I can't kill that. Can't kill that. I'm gonna just drop that. I'll turn him into a 3 3 next rotation, and we should be in a good spot. Oh! Oh, that's gonna hurt next time. He's gone. I can now get rid of that, which is good. Or I can mind control it, which is even better. Um, hmm. That'll allow me to do 9 damage to him. Uh, or I can kill it. He'll get a 4-4. Four, four. I'll have nothing on the field. He won't be able to attack until the following turn. Uh, and I can heal my... Destroy him anyway with my attack. Oh, that's right. I can't target him. I cannot target him. Uh, hmm. But that means I can't do this to him either. Yeah. So there's no real decision here. This is pretty easy. Simplify that for me. Give a random friendly minion plus three health. All right. That's actually pretty good. Uh, um... 
Yeah. I hate doing that on that. See, what I can do is I can I can mind control this, and then I can kill it off of this, and that's going to give this guy two extra health, which will then allow me to kill him. But then I'm burning... Ugh. I'm burning ten mana to get rid of the equivalent of six, but if I don't, I'm fucking dead, so... Let's do it anyway. Oh, I didn't even realize that! Oh, I forgot! Oh, that's fucking horseshit. That's fucking horseshit. I keep forgetting when you do mind control, you don't instantly gain the ability. Ah, uh, may have been a misplay then. I'm not sure. I'm still pretty happy with that play. I'm still pretty happy with that. Alright, so let's do this to here. This to here. Alright, so the question is, do we kill this one? Or this one? This one hasn't been rotated yet, so next turn it's going to become a 4-2. So I think he's the higher threat. Plus this is going to give one of these guys an extra health. And I can then heal this guy and get this. If this guy turns, which I don't think he will, I think he's already been turned. This one's going to become a 3 1. This one will become a 3 4, and this one will stay. I do have the ability to heal them all next rotation. He's a 1 4. It pretty much makes him useless. Oh, but he did get rid of my, uh, my, little, my little friend, which makes me very, very unhappy. Very unhappy. Uh, hmm. Trying to decide the best way to go about this. I don't want to lose this character, so I think the best way to do it is this. And then this. And then no, 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 no. Then this. And that. And he has nothing to bonus it with. That's probably the best way to go about it. At least gives me some semblance of board control, sort of. Ah, uh, and all of these are now maxed out on health, which is kind of awkward. Uh, if I play this, I kill every single Kiro on my side. I don't know if this actually changes Holy Nova or not. Um, I could attack with this, but I. Mm, it's not going to really matter anyway, because if I use this, that's going to knock him down to a 3. Neither of these guys can kill it by themselves. Now, they could both attack, but then I'm giving up two champions for one. That's assuming this one heals. If it doesn't heal, then I just basically crippled myself. But I need to learn anyway, so let's find out what this does. It hurts everybody, so it does get updated. Good. To know. Get rid of you. And we'll do that. That works out. For the Lich King! And unfortunately, he is completely untargetable by anything. Uh, if I attack him right now, he's just going to kill me, and then he's going to survive to go next turn. So I, my best move is to completely ignore him, because he's not targetable by anything. So if I played this, I'm just going to kill my own character. So uh, we're just going to keep pounding. Uh, he's going to become a 6-4 next turn, in which case I can kill him if he attacks me. If he doesn't and goes straight for the face, then I'll kill him the following turn. That's kind of what I was worried about. Give him a minion plus two health and draw a card. He's going to have six, so if I beef this up, that's going to do me absolutely no good. Uh, because he's going to become a 5-6, which is still going to kill this guy, but it's still going to die to him. So, pointless. The question is, do I want to draw the card? That's the only question. I do want to draw the card. That's good. Okay, so now we have a question of, do we have lethal? Um, 
plus four damage to all minions. Um, I can kill both of them, which I will do now. And this leaves me one point away from lethal, I believe. So if I do this... <gasps> oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, my God, I forgot. It's funny what that affects, because there's a couple abilities that it doesn't affect, but for the most part, if it heals, it affects it. So I just shot myself in the face right there. <laughs> Oh God! All right, let's go back. We're we're so close. We we can't we can't let him have it. We can't let him have it. Which of course means this time he's gonna bitch slap me into into tomorrow. Oh my God! The plays. In my defense, I am still new to priest. Yeah, you know, it's funny. I've gone first against this guy the last five times in a row. I think you just go first against Nax completely, regardless of what you do. Ah, absolutely nothing. All right, your turn, buddy. I think it'll probably take a few turns, bro. Might wanna, might wanna save that battle cry for a bit. Just saying. All right, so he's got, he's got the spider out. I have absolutely no answer for the spider, so I think Amaz calls that Skittles. You know, I haven't played with any of these. I wonder if they do anything. Um, if I kill it, he's just going to get a bunch more, so we'll throw that out there. I'm actually tempted to blow this, but I think I'm going to hold off. Uh, he can't kill it on one round anyway. Especially if it reverses. Nope. Now that I'm going to kill. I'm not going to let him have that. Oh, it's stealth. You can't. Fuck. Fucker. All right, so we're going to... Whoa. We're going to do this. Is someone injured? And we're going to do this. That's going to give us an extra card. Which we can't do anything with. Uh, do we go for the face or do we go for one of them? I'm going for the face because killing one of them is... I'm hoping he'll focus on some of my guys now. Although she's going to become a 1-3, which is bad. Or a 3-1 is what I meant to say. Okay. Alright, now I can kill that. Yay. I'm so happy. Uh, although if I kill it, I don't get a, hmm, you know what, let's hold, start of your turn, this one gets healed, uh, that's going to become a 4-1, which is basically not a threat, so we're going to drop this down, and this, and that becomes a 3-1, that becomes a 5-3, which means he can kill both of them if he wants. Alrighty then. Hmm. Let me get rid of that. And turn. That dude's entirely too excited about burning things. It's my kind of guy. <sighs> and zombie chow. Take control of an enemy minion with three or less attack. That sounds like my play right there. I'm going to say thank you, sir. I'm going to use him to attack you. <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm an idiot. That was one of those, one of them there misplays I was talking about. <laughs> Should have done that in reverse. Should have done that in reverse. Oh, the plays, the plays. I think I've made every possible Hearthstone mistake today that is humanly possible. 
The, the, the people who know how to play Hearthstone that are watching this video are literally face palming so hard that they've probably come out the other side of their hands. I'm just saying. Just saying. All right, so next turn, this is going to become a 3 2. Actually. It's going to become a little bit better than that. Not much. No, nope, it's going to stay a 3 2. All right, I'm going to go ahead and burn this before I use my Arcane Soul Priest so I don't kill myself. Turn that into nothing. That'll heal us up, thankfully. And next turn, we can play this and this and board clear. I like the little spider effect that comes out of that. That's kind of badass. Oh, this is going to be nice. This is going to be nice. Unfortunately, he won't make it. He won't make it. Even if I throw this on him, he's still not going to make it. He's still going to fucking die. Um, if I could get rid of this right here first, which I may actually be able to do now that I think about it. All right, so let me walk through this. If I play this, all heals become hostile. I can hit him with that, which kills this. Um, then I can do an attack on him and then sweep. And then I think we went. Well, we clear the board. So throwing her down. Okay, killing you. All right, so she's going to get four damage done to her, which is not what we want. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put you on here, which gives us another. Yep, that's right there. Can't play that. Even if we wanted to, there's nothing with that high. Let's do some damage to you. Knocks that down, and then burn an eight. Perfect. Perfect. And it gives me a three, three. Polarize. I do not like that character. Oh, Jesus. I do not like that one at all. Um, hmm. So, what do I do here? Next turn, that's going to be killable. If I try and kill it now, it's not going to do... Actually, if I try and kill it now, I can lower it. He's only going to do one damage. That makes sense. Now it's a 1-1. One, one. Next turn, it's going to be a 1-1. One, one. You're useless. That actually makes me very happy in the pants. Whoa, I forgot about... Ah, oh, the hero! <sighs> Is that misplay number five? Fuck! All right, get rid of him. Jesus. All right, so we can kill the one on the left at least. Give your minions plus two health. Brilliant. Now they're three ones. Alright, I'm just going for fucking killing him. I'm tired of playing with this guy. Just gonna try and kill him. Is he gonna kill Arachni? Yep. Or Akanai, or whatever the fuck it's called. Yeah, he's not really a threat anymore. Um, you know, I kinda like that. All right, I think I have control of it at the moment. I think. Oh yeah, whoa, okay. My mana didn't update, I'm like, what the fuck, mate? All right, there we go. I think I got him. Unless something fucking horrible happens, I think we've got it. Yep, we got lethal. Lethal! Fuck! It only took 45,000 misplays and horrible embarrassments on YouTube to make this possible. <laughs> Eat my ass with a spoon. 
I, I have no idea what the effectiveness of this card is. If somebody can link a deck in the video description where Wailing Soul would be a good good thing to have, let me know. I mean, the only thing I can think of is like, maybe if somebody like debuffed one of your guys or, you know, if you wanted to remove freeze effects or something like that. I could see removing freeze effects from a mage, maybe good. But that that's very situational. So other than like a mage that's chain freezing your characters, somebody let me know when they, they think that might be a good card to use because I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious. All right, let's open that up. Gimme, 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 gimme. Ah, oh, Fugan. And Stalag. I think we've just about got all the challenges unlocked. All right, so we are down to our last two fights. <laughs> Dress warm. So we get to fight Saffron, uh, which will give us uh, Echoing Ooze, which I like. Uh, and then Shade of Max Ramos we'll get once we fight. Uh, I guess this is Kel'Thuz Kel'Thuzad, I think is the final one, if I recall. So I remember this Frost Dragon fight. It was good stuff. I'll talk about that, though, in the next video. So anyways, for those of you watching on YouTube, sorry this video went a little long, mainly because I suck at Hearthstone. Uh, hopefully you guys liked it anyway. If you did, slap that like button. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next clip.